How far is too far to drive for such low tips? Hello everyone and welcome to the Russ Ride channel. On my channel I give you tips and tricks on how to improve both your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. I wanted to share three recent examples of what I've learned from doing food deliveries. The dollars per mile really matter. If you're taking trips to locations where there's not many restaurants, then you have to come all the way back from where you started in order to get more deliveries. And this is very important. So recently I took a trip out to Malibu area and it was roughly about 15 miles one way and the fare was $14.73. Afterwards, I discovered that I earned a whole dollar tip. Wow! And the round trip took me 45 minutes to 50 minutes and the customer exclaimed, wow, that took so long. And I really wondered to myself, why would you even be so rude as to say that? Obviously the restaurant's not down the street. It takes a while to get the delivery and bring it out and deliver it hot and fresh to the customer. I also had a second trip and this was a pizza delivery for $30 out to Malibu. It took a total of an hour because it was on the weekend and there was more traffic on the road, but the customer did tip. And I was happy because if you look at that, that's $30 an hour. But when you take 15 miles each way, that's 30 miles round trip. That adds up quite a bit. I may have been better off to just take some other trips in the local area where there's a lot of restaurants and get quite a few deliveries and the tips would add up to where I would have made just as much, but not put as many miles on my vehicle. So it's something to keep in mind. Be very careful anytime you're accepting orders that's going to take you to what I would consider a remote location where there's not many restaurants. You want to be very careful of this. You don't want to run so many miles on your car and not be making enough money to pay for any repairs. Another thing I wanted to share on Postmates, I took an order where I had to place the order and it was to Buffalo Wild Wings. You can see up here in the corner that the trip took 40 something minutes, 42 if I recall, and with the tip I only made less than $10. You're taking a big chance of placing an order for $3 plus tip. In this case I made the most of my time and left the restaurant and went and did some shopping so that I didn't have to do it later. But in hindsight, you should be very careful and think very deliberately of which orders you place. I've had great success at doing paid orders at Taco Bell where I place the order because they're very fast and I still received a nice tip. Keep in mind that mileage really matters. You'll want to be very selective on your orders and at least get a dollar per mile, at least. Stay safe out there. Please drive carefully and stay healthy. I'm looking forward to when the coronavirus pandemic will be behind us and we can get out there and keep serving our customers and making money together while staying healthy. Please share in the comments below what you think of these tips. And do you have any other recommendations for when it comes to taking orders where you're potentially not making much money? All right. Thank you very much. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.